Z, the village weavers, yes, that are suspended above Juma Dam on Cheetah Plains. And they're having a wonderful time. I love watching yellow weavers when they're knocking about like this. They're swizzling calls. Now, while we sit here, what I want to do is just, uh, I mean, of course, if that leopard does something useful, uh, or further useful, then we'll go back to her. But while we're just looking at those birds, I just want to read a little bit about the breeding, because it says polygonous, which usually means a female with more than one male. No, it's the other way around in this. Sometimes breeds in colonies, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. No, there's a male, apparently the male can build one or two different nests and sort of attend to more than one female. Because the female does all of the incubating. And Red, see, you say how you love these weavers. I love them too. I think they're great fun to watch. And we were so, it was so horrible last year not having any. They just didn't develop their summer plumage because there was no decent grass, so they couldn't build their nests. And I think they just made a, or went a whole year without even bothering to breed. Well, they're certainly making up for it now. Yeah, that, polo that polygonous there refers to the male. So the male can ha build more than one nest and fertilize more than one female who will then lay eggs in his nests. The, fem the male does the incubating exclusively. And of course this bird is heavily parasitized by the Diederich's cuckoo. Now, what be, might be very nice here, because we've got to the stage that the, much of the breeding has probably been completed, it would be fascinating to see if there wasn't a juvenile Diedrich's cuckoo sitting in amongst this lot, masquerading as a weaver. It'd be thoroughly amusing to find. Not sure how long they stay with the weavers after they've hatched, though. L Laura, you want to know how many different types of weavers there are? The answer is many. In this area, we get... That's a stupid answer, of course, but I'll give you a decent answer now. In this area, we get the village weaver, the southern masked weaver, possibly the lesser masked weaver, the red-headed weaver, the red-billed buffalo weaver, and sometimes the thick-billed weaver. So that's six that we get here. All in all, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. I'll show them to you if you like. There they are. The chestnut weaver, quite an astounding little bird. I saw him in Namibia once. The forest or dark-backed weaver, that is a beautiful bird. I've seen that also down at Pinda. There the cape weaver, unsurprisingly seen in the cape. The olive-headed weaver I have not seen. That's that one there, that's four of them. There's the yellow or golden weaver, I've seen him before also at Pinda. Spectacled weaver. We might get those here too. Spectacled weaver can be found here, so that could be, that's seven that we could find here. Brown-throated, large golden, and then there's the thick build that we get here. Sometimes, not common. More often, they need reed beds to kind of, um, to breed in, so they find one near more permanent water. Southern masked, very common. Lesser masked, fairly common. There's the spotted back that we've been looking at there. You can see it's got, well, spots on its back. It's the village weaver, is its proper name. And then the red-headed weaver we've seen here. And that's pretty much it.
That's 12, isn't it? One, two, yes, 12 weavers in total, seven of which we get here.